Hi Gemini, this is your weekly day by day tarot cards reading by M for the week starting 18th of May 2020. So it's going to be seven cards, one for each day of this week. And we'll start now. So Monday 18th of May. For you Gemini is page of Pentacles. And then Tuesday. And we have ten of pentacles. Wednesday. Ten of cups. King of pentacles. Thursday. The star Friday. Nine of pentacles. Saturday and Sunday, Gemini is nine of swords. Influencing energy for you is eight of swords. Feeling trapped in a situation or in your mind with the, with your worries, with your thoughts, um, something that is going on around, and it's somehow you. You accepted it, like you've been accepting one thing and another and accept you kind of going on acceptance and acceptance and you were compliant and uh, compliant is that word, I don't know. Compliant. And I had to take anyway, anyway. Um you played along with a situation perhaps you shouldn't. Um, you wanted just to be for out of your kindness doing things, out of pity doing things, you know, and then you suddenly find yourself trapped in some sort of obligation in a situation that you can't move, it's obstructing you, it's, um, um, it's muddy, it's heavy situation with Ace of Swords, but once, once Ace, it didn't say Ace of Swords, Eight of Swords. <laughs> um, um, once we have this Eight of Swords in here, it seems it's that's your awareness that you are trapped and you're dealing with this situation. Then you have Eight of Swords. When you feel it, you feel that you are tight around yourself and you blindfold that you didn't want to see it. And you can, you will get out of this situation very soon because it's end of the situation. One, you've got it here. It's end of the situation. If you like it, you can do it. You can get out of it. And you will, of course, that's why this pops out because eight is always expansive. You'll move forward. You want more. This is not enough. That sort of feeling for you. This isn't enough. This isn't good. I want more. I want better. Eight of swords. And you will make it for yourself. Let me pair this page of pentacles on Monday with three of rods. And now, ten of pentacles. Tuesday, I will pair with king of swords. And then ten of cups. Wednesday paired with Knight of Rods, King of Pentacles, paired with the Fool, the Star, Knight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Saturday, paired with the Hangman, Nine of Swords, Paired with eight of rods. And another influencing energy is two of coins. Juggling. Look, we've got these two faces in here and these two coins, two hearts on another side. It's kind of you breathing into these two situations, you living into these two realities. One that you want for yourself, something new that comes, and one that you are in right now. That you don't want anymore for yourself. Look at this being tight. 
in, in these ropes with black birds around. Now you're juggling these two situations. You don't, as I said, you, we always get ourselves in this situation, kind of willingly. We agree and we kind of doing it out of pity, out of love, out of whatever, you know, noble, noble uh, uh, motives could be there. But we end up being stuck ourselves. We kind of, you know, in these worries, in these things that we have to do for another or for ourselves because we promise to another. Now you are juggling these two moments. You were actually. These are energies that you you kind of inheriting this week from another period of. But I, I really see that you have good good energies. These tens you have a lot of the two tens in here. Nines as well. The star and and the fool. Something is closing down. Something is coming new. But yeah, let's start from the beginning. Page of Pentacles and. Uh, and the Three of Rods, Three of Rods and Page of Pentacles, they said, you've got this project on your mind and it's already kind of, it's ongoing, you know, you've got something new. That is new and it's ongoing, you're very keen. Page of Pentacles says, it is inevitable. You are ready, you decided that what you're going to do. Page will learn a lot on the way. With experience, um, working things with its hands or, or understanding or learning on the way, step by step. Page of Pentacles will move forward. You've got this on your mind, you're expecting results and it will come. Eventually, definitely is on your way. Certainty with Page of Pentacles. Long road, long way to learn, still a lot. Perhaps you already have something... Um, you put these first steps and, and you even um, maybe making some money or ge getting even some results of that new things that you started. But it's new, it's still small, you know. Uh, you do understand, you can, you can still build on it, make it bigger, make it grow. Page of Pentacles, it's movement there with lots of learning, lots of work, but it's movement nonetheless, page. News, messages... Now, Ten of Pentacles here and another Ten of Cups in the, in, in, on Wednesday. Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. Both of these energies is um, completing the situation in a successful way. A way that you really... Everybody's happy here. Everybody's happy. This is having money, material help, material success. And then family money, family business, um, Ten of Cups, everybody is happy with this completion. Whatever is completed, everybody is happy with it. It doesn't matter. Now we have in here um, Knight of, uh, Knight of uh, Rhodes and King of Swords. King of Swords um, is your energy Gemini. This Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. And it is your intellect. And it is your knowledge. And it's your logic. And it's your confidence. It's that is energy you're really confident with. And when I see that it is standing there underneath this Ten of Pentacles, you are completing this situation. You are receiving this money. You are receiving these results uh, with your business or... Uh, um, Or something that is uh, related to your family, something that goes in, um, in in succession. You know, you've got you growing from one uh, um, from one place to another, from one situation. You're growing. You know, one things comes uh, um, and grows into another, and in a successful way. That kind of ten of pentacles, and you're leading there. You are all factual, or. Um, you are leading the way, you are kind of bossy, you kind of um, bringing rules in this situation. You are completing it. You are all in it with your mind. You dictating the rules and stuff like that. That's your Tuesday. Now, Knight of Rods is something else. Knight of Rods is a, some passionate energy. News that comes your way as well. 
knights bring some news, information, communication. That's, but I think here um, it's something on your mind, something that you're really passionate about, and it's Ten of Cups in here. Completion, but everything, everybody's happy here with this Ten of Cups. Again, we have family. Again, we have these children and the couple there. Look at these children are playing there. They're playing in here. As I said, Tuesday, Wednesday, this energy of completion in a, in a way where everybody is happy. More people involved. It's not just you, Gemini. People are involved in here. But as I said, you are dictating the rules. You are pushing forward. You are in... Um, Telling them how to do, how to complete, how to proceed. You are the one factual and logical advisory. You are giving advice. Like you are one who knows how to do, how to proceed and what to do, what the facts are. But everything is in a beautiful manner, beautiful way, completing for everybody involved. You're very happy in here, very passionate, lots of love and passion with this uh, energy of Knight of Wands. King of Pentacles now comes here in your environment on Thursday. Uh, somebody who's Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo person that you're dealing with. And the Fool being very enthusiastic. After the, the, the Knight of Rods, having Fool card in here, it seems that you've got this idea and you're moving towards you you're so passionate about this night of roads you've got this kind of something like it's born within you like so and you're so passionate about like like this is energy running fast this one is fast moving energy and it's very passionate you've got these ideas in your mind and you're passionate about you're moving you've got drive for it the fool being so optimistic, being so optimistic. I love it in combination with King of uh, King of um, Pentacles. Fool sometimes can be fool, <laughs> being foolish, being uh, overreacting, over optimistic. You know, rushing a bit stuff. You know, not thinking things through properly. Just because it's everything seems fine, it doesn't mean that we have to neglect the details. And fool sometimes neglect the details. Now with King of Pentacles in here, it says you won't neglect the details. You will see value in everything. Whatever value is, you will understand. What's the value there for you in the situation with these people, whatever, whatever that is going on in here. That what is important. That's the detail, understanding value there for whatever there is. Is it value of uh, how much time I spend with it? You see value, you know, value for money, value that it, your time is valuable as well. You know, that, that kind of measuring values, you've got this measuring tools that King of Pentacles, who's got it to perfection, like it's naturally having it in your mind and understanding what does have value for you, what doesn't. And you are very optimistic, very enthusiastic. It could be that you're thinking about something with, a, uh, with a, uh, this Knight of Rhodes, something that is a, a bit foreign, or it's maybe, uh, not foreign, but it's a bit unusual. You know, like, if you're dealing with people, they are from, you know, uh, a different sort of background. Um, they got talk different language than you, they've got different religion, different, you know, it could be that you're doing something that is a bit unusual. <laughs> what now? Now you can't even remember when nothing comes to my mind at this point. Like new, I don't know, tarot reader. <laughs> Anything. Uh, that is a bit unusual with the full card. But as I said, King of Pentacles energy gives you stability there. Doesn't matter is it your state of mind in here or it's somebody else. It comes to, as a stabilizing force to your enthusiasm, which is lovely. These two, it's good to have together. As I said, it's either another person that helps you 
in, in this in realistic, standing firmly on the ground, or it's you who are the showing that groundness, even though within you you're so optimistic and enthusiastic and so on, even though it's a lovely combination to have on Thursday. Now we have the star, star card and um, Knight of Cups. It's kind of with the star and the Knight of Cups. I think you're gonna be toasting these things that you're so hopeful related to this fool. And as I said, King of Pentacles, that energy gives it doability. So now, feeling that your what you're hoping, what you see as a bright star in your future, you see it's coming your way. There is energy, it's moving, it is emotional, but it is movement. It does have that movement. Feeling, that feeling, you just feel that this day, on Friday, you feel it, that it's doable, you will be there. You going towards that. You even celebrating within yourself. You are happy for yourself that you see that your bright star is uh, is is uh, uh, already. It's not out of reach. You can reach to your bright star. So that what you hoped for is there. It's achievable. That what you feel with Knight of Cups. And I think it's very much relates to this full energy within you grounded with this King of Pentacles energy on Thursday. It's just moving towards Friday, being happy, being optimistic, seeing bright future, you know, hoping for the best, feeling that is real doable. You can do that. You can achieve your, your uh, that what you really hope for, what you wish for yourself. Nice Friday. Hungman, hungman. Somehow comes up. Uh, no, it's not upright. Yeah, this is new deck I have. I haven't seen it. Anyway, uh, nine of pentacles is sitting. What is that? Some sort of money, maybe related to this Tuesday, or uh, what sort of success that you feel that you have? Nine of pentacles is this success that you have in here? Feeling that you almost or completed some task and you're enjoying it right now. You're enjoying yourself at this point. That's your comfort zone. Is it money that you uh, got for your work done or um, you got uh, paid for something? You just completed project, project completed and you know that you were that you completed it in a in a way that you wanted and you see that's your success in there. It's completed. Um, and then you're enjoying it. Your comfort zone. You find your comfort zone into this situation that you're completing. You've done it with your own hands. You and only you are, um, you, uh, you worked on it. You're deserving it because it's your work. It's your abilities, your own. That's your own. Very important energy and um, um, aspect of this energy that you've done it yourself on your own all this success belongs to you it's your comfort zone you see what i'm saying now with the hangman in here with this nine of pentacles it's press the pause button pause it there okay you completed this first phase like you're completing something in here and it brings you this comfort and you're happy maybe first payment maybe some plateau is there, some completion. You've done it yourself. You're happy with it. Look at this one is very happy, holding, having all these pentacles, enjoying yourself and your success. Doesn't matter other people, even if others do not see it. If you, even if nobody saw, you feel it. You found it yourself, for yourself. You've done it. The hangman says, "Wait, they, okay, enjoy it. Let's." Other people see you, perhaps. You uh, learn more, see which way from there. Because this is, yes, you achieved something. And it's not small. It's kind of, you feel very proud of yourself in here. This is lots of pride with this Nine of Pentacles. As I said, it could be money as well. Anyhow, that's achievement. Abundance. Happiness with, with that what you've done on your own. 
stay there. Stay there for a little while, okay? It's, don't be, even if it seems that nobody saw really what you achieved. Nobody, you want others to see, you want others involved in that, but they don't, they, they not. It's only yours, but you feel it, it's big, it's, it's something, it's comforting, and it's, um, you're proud of yourself. Missing things is other people. You know, you don't see them, you, they don't see you. They don't enjoy it, do not enjoy it with you, kind of feeling lonely they Press pause before you move forward to anything else. But now, look at this. You press pause and then Sunday, this is Saturday, and then Sunday says, Eight of Rods. You know how many, what sort of conversation this is. This is like your computer is burning hot. <laughs> your email, <laughs> your... <laughs> Um, inbox and outbox are burning hot. You exchanging emails. You are um, telephone calls. Those are ideas, ideas, ideas. You've got these brilliant, brilliant ideas, and you exchanging with people. You calling. You they are uh, um, replying. That sort of things. But nine of swords in um, here tells me you kind of fear. That is fear, nightmare. And with the rest of the cards, I think it's unrealistic, really, Gemini. It's just bringing your fears, your nightmare. Ah, oh, what if nothing comes out of here? Like, you see, like, I feel that something is big going on in here. It's, it's going on. Things are, um, look at this, store and fool, and things are going well for you. The whole week, things are changing. Uh, um, it is good. Now, this Sunday fear, I think... You're just remembering things <laughs> from that what it was, somewhere where you were stuck in a situation. What if? Because now maybe it seems to you a bit too much. Like on a Sunday, maybe you're a bit overwhelmed with um, how things are going, whatever speed that is. Don't, you should like it. I mean, Gemini, you should love this communication and speedy and um, intense communication. But there is fear, definitely. Your nightmare, what if? What if something, go, something, something goes wrong now? What if, you know, these things are happening? What, what? This nightmare. Maybe your nightmare is um, current obstructions that we have from, from our governments. We cannot do business. We cannot, you know, because we are in a lockdown with reason or without reason. You know, we, we can argue about it. But that is maybe your obstruction and that's your nightmare. Yes, I've got everything goes on. Lovely. And now I have to hold on and press the pause button until when? Until when? When everything is beautiful and active and things are going beautifully for me. Now look at this. Nightmare day in your environment. Now whatever it is, your week is beautiful. Things are going well for you. Money bars, stability. You've got lots of completion, right? We do have this tense, but then we have page of pentacles. We have full. We have star card, nine of pentacles. Something related to money, to business, to manifestation. It's, it is going well this week for you. There is new things, new ideas, something that you're really enthusiastic, something that you something that you wished for. It was on your mind like earlier, from earlier on. You know, oh, I would love to be there or to do this, something. It was there. You know, it wasn't that, oh, it just suddenly it's dropping your mind. No, there was, it was there. You, you wished for things like that and it's going well. It's going well. So whatever there is, is it your, um, in this environment, be all in it. I mean, it, I don't know if that's going to comfort you, but it will be over. Um, and this is going to come to pass eventually. Um, but anyway, enjoy Gemini, things are good for you.